Alright guys, this is DHC Gaming, and I'm playing some Domination on Array, and I said it like that, because I love my in new intros. I actually kind of feel special because of them. And, you know, I had a lot of fun this game. I, I you know, I was pretty relaxed. I was pretty pumped up at the same time. Like, I was like, okay, I'm going to own this game, because these guys are pretty much noobs on the other team. And our team is actually pretty good. We got the good noobs on our team. And, you know... I just feel special. I feel kind of like Gandhi when you know I'm owning in a game like this, cause it's like non-violent resistance. Yeah, dude, non-violent resistance for the win. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's it's the only reason I bring up Gandhi is cause that was my topic I was gonna talk about to you guys, and I was like, that's kind of a lame topic. I don't really know what to say about Gandhi besides he's an awesome person, cause uh, you know, he didn't like the British, so he used non-violent resistance, you know, to resist them. And, uh, you know, resist his foe, the British, by, uh, not giving them salt and, uh, cotton and things like that. Or not, uh, cotton. There's some other fabric. But, you know, I, you know, that, that topic's kind of like, whatever. It's, you know, I, I like, I like history. I really like history. It's just like, uh, you know, I, I like, I just took Russian history and, you know, I really enjoyed that class. Um, it's pretty ridiculous because Russia is pretty old you know it's a pretty old country but I just I find it so funny that uh that they you know had aristocracy for so long and or not yeah they had aristocracy then you know they went to uh totalitarianism and if you guys don't know what those terms are you can look them up because I'm not gonna explain them they're gonna take way too long to explain for me cause like when I explain stuff I just go all out but you know I do have uh quite a a fond working knowledge of history. For example, I know that America doesn't like slavery anymore. There, I said it. I, j I just said it. America does not like slavery anymore. And you know, I feel I feel like that's uh that's the right thing to do. Not like slavery. And because slavery was a horrible thing. And uh you know, I I, I wouldn't I was never a slave, so I wouldn't know, but you know, it was a pretty uh pretty bad experience I'm guessing for them. And I, you know, I can't, I can't really say anything about it more because uh, I never been one. So yeah, and uh, back to history. So for your history lesson today, I'm gonna be teaching you about the Republic of America and uh, to the Republic for which it stands. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't say the pledge in my uh, school anymore. I've kind of just decided I don't really like that we're in this war for uh, for certain reasons. And uh, I'm going against saying the pledge. But, you know, I'm not against America. I'm not at all against America. I just uh, do not think that, you know, I, I'm I'm exercising my freedom of speech when I do that. And uh, I feel that it's perfectly okay to do that. You know, it's just uh, one of those things that you should you should always exercise. If you if don't, like, swear at your parents or something because you said you have a freedom of speech. But you know, you should uh you should respect them and uh respectfully refuse to do things if you know you don't want to do them. And you know, you should say, Well, you know, I have every right not to do them. You can't force me to do them. But you know, at the same time they kinda do. Um partially because they're your parents and if you're not of age I just turned of age, so I you know, it's different for me. But if you're not of age, they're still your parents, you know, and uh they'll always be your parents, so I hope you always love them. But, you know, it's just uh, one of those things that, you know, you can exercise freely, and uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty awesome that, we're, that I'm in America, and uh, I'm not back in Poland, which would suck. But, you know, I'm not Polish. I'm just, my heritage is Polish. So I'm guessing if I, uh, my heritage did not come to America, I would be in Poland right now. It would not be that fun, I'm guessing. Because I might have been, uh, might have been a lot more poor, or I might have been, I might have been poorer. Or uh, something of that genre, and you know my family does pretty well here. Um, I'm not gonna, no, I don't want to like show off or anything, so I'm not going to. But you know, uh, I think we do. Be we would do better in America than we would do in Poland. But I, you know, I could be wrong. I don't know. So you know, um, about history in general, you know when uh, you know I like talking about World War Two and World War One because World War One directly directly kind of starts World War Two, because the big thing about uh, World War uh, World War One was that when we when Germany surrendered um, we basically didn't give them anything back 
And uh, you know when Hitler, when Hitler was uh, born, right during World War One, basically, um, you know he didn't like that uh, we didn't get anything back, so he wanted to become a military leader, and uh, rep and a leader of Germany. So you know he he looked he looked pretty appealing to the Germans. We might not have known that, but he looked pretty appealing to the G other Germans because you know they they were left with nothing, and you know totalitarianism looked pretty damn good from their standpoint. And you know I'm not I'm not afraid to say it because you know really the only reason he blamed it on the uh, he blamed it on the Jewish people was because he just wanted he, it was basically the scapegoat the Jewish people were the scapegoat and I you know it's it's frustrating to say that as it is but you know it's uh, it's true and I I do hate to say it but it's just one of those things you know you got to live with it's in history can't really change it unless you had a time machine that'd be freaking awesome but you know I'm uh. I'm uh, I'm over it, and I'm not Jewish, so you know, no hard feelings there against Jewish people. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not glad that I'm not Jewish. I shouldn't say that. That I shouldn't say that, but you know, I'm, I'm glad that you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> I guess I'm glad that I'm atheist. That doesn't make a lot of sense, though. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not atheist. I shouldn't say that. I, I am religious. I'm not like, I'm not like super religious though. I, however, I'm not sacred religious either. But you know, I uh, I really enjoy, um, and I don't go to church anymore. You know, I'm just too busy, have high school or what whatnot. But you know, I uh, it's just uh, it's just kind of been uh, difficult for me because you know, to do commentaries like this, this is this is easy. You just talk about random stuff, and you know, I'm not I'm not cutting out audio or anything. I'm just letting letting myself speak. And uh, I think that's a good way to do commentaries because you know you just you just express yourself better, and uh, whether you're funny or not, you can uh, express yourself to the fullest extent. Holy crap! This Mardi Gras beat is breaking. Anyway, um, yeah. So for Christmas, one of the gifts I got was Mardi Gras beads from my sister because uh, she's going to University of Tulane, uh, or not University, just uh, Tulane. I guess yeah, Tulane University. It's not how you say it though. Um, and she uh, she is down in New Orleans, so you know she's having a she's having a good time. But she did come back up for Christmas, and uh, she gave me Mardi Gras beads as part of my gift. And you know that's pretty awesome. And they were like true Mardi Gras beads, except one of my necklaces just broke. So you know I have to deal with that. That's okay. I'm not gonna die. However, you know I find it kind of funny when you know I'm. I'm uh, Playing this game, I'll just like fidget with things when I'm commentating or something. And uh, one of the things I fidget with was the Mardi Gras beads, and it broke. So it's just a lesson learned right there. Yeah, and uh, you know, back to the history. I uh, I know some people probably don't like history. On uh, CCCP and just mean CCCP, just means uh, USSR in uh, Russian language. In the Russian, you know, Russian language. Uh, and uh, you know. The, when they first got the Russian language, I'm pretty sure it was the Kievan Rus period when they got it. I, I just, I'm gonna have to ask my history teacher again that taught this to me because I honestly don't remember. But my history teacher was awesome. He was the track coach, and he's like 50 years old. He's just an awesome person, and he's he's made history really exciting for me. And you know, it's just kind of one of those classes. You know, you gotta be like, you gotta be like, okay, well, this, you know, I'm not gonna have a fun time in this class. If uh, if the teacher's now fun, and you're know, sorry for that long break, I just had to sneeze and mute my mic for a second. Um, and you know it's kind of one of those things. Like yeah, that guy just got a double kill, so I tried to like own him in the face, and I'm pretty sure I do end up doing that. So uh, yeah, right here I go like boom, 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 and uh, yeah, he's dead, and that's the end of the game. So I'm glad we had this little history lesson. Because I love talking about history, and uh, I hope you guys have a good, have a good rest of the holidays. Or yeah, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.